Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to control the mouse cursor in Unity 3D game engine, such as hiding it, locking it, or modifying its appearance to or as our desire. So make sure to follow me until the end of the video and let's do it. Let's say in your game you want to hide the cursor so the player won't be able to see it or distracted by it. Luckily, this is the simplest task in Unity 3D. You can hide the mouse cursor by simply making the cursor.visible condition or boolean to false. Just like this. For practice, we will create a very simple script to hide the mouse cursor when the player presses the H key on keyboard and unhide it when player presses the G key. Now let's say you have a first person game and want the cursor to be locked in the center of the screen. In Unity, it's possible to limit the on-screen movement of the mouse using the cursor lock state, which can be used to limit the cursor to the bound of the game view window or to completely lock it in place at the center of your game's screen. To do so, we are going to need cursor lock state function. There are three types or options for cursor lock state. We are going to take a look at them one by one and a simple example for each. Number one. Cursor lock mode.none. Cursor lock mode.none, which is self explanatory, will release the cursor from lock state. Number 2. Cursor lock mode.locked. Then we have cursor lock mode.locked, which will lock our cursor to the center of the screen. Just bear in mind if you set the mouse cursor lock state to locked, then it will automatically hide the cursor. Meaning, in some Unity versions or scenarios, no matter which cursor visibility settings you applied, so even if you try to force the cursor to appear, it will always remain hidden when it's locked. Another thing to remind is even though the cursor lock mode is set to locked, you can still get the mouse pointer data and use them to complete your in game logics because the mouse delta movements are still recorded in background. To prove this, let's create a simple c -sharp script for camera to look around using mouse movements. As you can see, our cursor is locked to the center, but our logic working perfectly as a first-person camera. Number 3. Cursor lock mode dot confined. Ok, the final cursor lock mode is confined, which means it will limit the mouse cursor to the bound of the game view window. As you can see, we can't move the cursor outside the game view window bounds. Also, just remember that the confined mode only works in Windows and Linux platforms and not works in Mac. To be honest, I don't know which scenario might be this handy for, but at least it's here and you can use it for your awesome logics. Just comment down below if you have a scenario and use case for it. Alright, to complete this video, we are going to see how to change the appearance of the mouse cursor. For changing mouse cursor appearance, there are two options. One is in the editor mode just before building your project, and one for runtime. For the first option, which is in the editor mode, you can simply change mouse cursor by going to Edit, Project Settings, Player, and choose a custom texture 2D as your new cursor texture. This way, it will work even if you are not in play mode. Nice, doesn't it? As you can see, if you move your mouse cursor to the game view, it will change the texture instantly. And the other method which is much more handy is in runtime version, where we can simply create a public texture to the variable and simply changing our mouse cursor with this line of code. Cursor.setCursor, your new texture 2D, your hotspot values which are 00, and the cursor mode. And that's it, you change your cursor appearance in runtime in the simplest way possible. A very good example and use case of changing the cursor in runtime is for scenarios like this, where we can have different mouse cursors for different interactable objects in our scene. To do this, we are creating a very simple script and call on mouse enter to change the cursor texture to our desired one, and on mouse exit to reset it back to our default mouse cursor texture. Alright everyone, as always, that's it for today's video, I hope you guys learned something new with this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you didn't and stay tuned for more upcoming videos and tutorials. So until the next one, cheers!